What is AMDP? AMDP is a framework to manage and call the database processors and the function from ABAP itself. So what I mean by the database processors and functions we are calling from the ABAP. So as you already know, we have the three tier architecture. We have the presentation layer, we have application layer and database layer in the SAP. But in the database layer, we can have any database. Suppose if you are working on the HANA database, we have the SAP S4 HANA database. We can have Oracle database. We can have DB6 database. We can, we can have IBM database. There are a lot of database providers are there. We can use any database out of that. But for the, if SAP provides the HANA database, for the HANA database, we have the, the native language we will call the SQL script language. We have for the Oracle, there is a different native language. And for the other database, there is a different, different native language. And we have one open SQL language that is ABAP, where we are writing our ABAP code, which is valid for the all the databases. But here we are talking about the HANA database. Our HANA database is having the SQL script language. So in the SQL script language, we create the processors and the function to do the day to day programming at the database level. Like it is the same way how we uh, manage our code, uh, our code using the methods, subroutines or functions we create day to day. Same way in the SQL script language, they have the database processors and the database functions. They will combine the logic and put in one container so they can reuse or reuse that particular part of code in the different different section and they will modularize like this. In the same way, SQL script having the processors and functions. Since our database code powerful now, now what as SAP, SAP has given us the opportunity, we can write the SQL script processors and function from the ABAP itself using this AMDP framework. So for that, first we have to understand what is this database processors and database function. As I told you, these are nothing, just, this is just like the logical content, logic containers, uh, how we are having the methods, subroutines and function in our map. Same way, these are the logic containers are there. This allows you to group the SQL statement and logic in the one container. So there is a two things. One is the processor, another is a function. So what is the difference between the database processors and database function? We have to understand the difference because AMDP also create the AMDP functions and AMDP processors. To understand that difference, first we have to understand what is the difference between the AMDP processor and AMDP function. So mainly the, we can say normal difference, the AMDP functions always have one return parameter, but the processors, it's not mandatory to have return parameter. And but the function, it should have one return parameter. Otherwise, it, we will get the syntax error. If you write the code in SQL script at the database level, that time they should have the return parameter. That's a very important thing. And the function we can, uh, where how we can call the function? Normal, wherever we call the table uh, in the select statement, same places we can call function as well. We can fetch the data from function like we are getting the data from the table. We can write the operand position in the where close as well. So this function can be called there. But the procedures for calling procedures, we have the syntax. We have to use call procedure and we have to pass the values. These are the native syntax, native database syntax. In ABAP, we call the procedure normally, which we are going to discuss. And the, in the processor, not only we can read the data, we can write, write data as well. We can update the data in the database, but in the function, we can only read the data. These are the basic difference between the processors and the functions. To define the database processors and the database function in the database from the ABAP, we use the AMDP framework. So AMDP framework manages the two things. One is the AMDP processor and second is the AMDP functions. AMDP functions further divided into two parts, AMDP table function and AMDP scalar functions. 
In this video, we will talk about the AMDP processors. We have already discussed about the AMDP table functions in my previous videos. You can watch out AMDP table functions from there. But in our upcoming videos, we will understand what is this AMDP scalar function and what is the difference between the AMDP table function and AMDP scalar function and what is the use of this AMDP scalar function. In this video, we will see the AMDP processors. So first what we will do, we will create the basic AMDP processor and we will do what all are the things we have to make sure when we are creating the AMDP processor. And when we create the AMDP processor in the ABAP level and the database level, it will create the obviously SQL script processors and how it will convert from AMDP processor to the SQL script processor. That also we will see. Let's get started. For creating the AMDP processor, what we have to create first normal ABAP class. But before starting, most important thing, we can create AMDP processor only in Eclipse ADT tool. We can't create the AMDP processors in SAP GUI. Why we can't create? I don't know. Ask SAP. So for creating that, first what we will do, we will create the normal ABAP class. So I have already one package with the AMDP. What I will do, I will right click on that package. Let me close it out. Right click on package, new object. I want to create the ABAP class. So AMDP processors and AMDP functions in the ABAP, these are, we create as a method. So that is the reason we need the class. So class also, first we create the normal class. So let me create this ABAP class. And let me give some meaningful name, ZCL underscore AMDP. AMDP class, I can say, because this, I will be converting this class to the AMDP class. Let's give some description. Just click on next button. And just give some TR name and click on finish button. It will create the basic class. Let me minimize it. Project Explorer. Now my first step will be I have to convert this AMDP, this normal class to the AMDP class. So for converting this normal class to AMDP class, I have to use one interface which is provided by SAP in the pu public section. I want uh, what is the interface name? If underscore AMDP underscore marker you do control space you will get the name of that interface you can do enter and just you have to declare this interface in your class as soon as you declare this interface in this your class this class become amdp class we have created the amdp class now we have to create the amdp processor for this we have we need some requirement so my requirement is that for for that, what I will do, I will open the VBAK table. Let me open VBAK database table and show you some data. Let me do F8. So it's asking from the, let me do data preview. I can select column letter or point of time as well. So I need, I don't need this many columns. I can select columns also from here. I need only VBLN, deselect all. Uh, I need VBLN. Second is the net amount. And third is the Punna, if it is Punna. So these three column I need. So what I want to display in my Final output, suppose there uh, for one customer is having the multiple sales order. So what I want to get for that particular customer, how much total amount he have bought. I want to combine the for that total amount for the each customer. Then finally, I want to get who all are the customer which is the buying from me more with more amount. For example, there is 10 customers, 100 customers top 10 customer which is buying for that for those customer net amount is more 
I want to display those customers name along with the amount which we they have bought from me and apart from that I want to display the list customer as well which is buying very rarely or which which they are not buying at all for the reporting purpose this is my requirement so I, I need two field first field is the customer name and second field is total amount which they have bought from me like that I want to display so for that I need obviously uh, to get the data I want to create the types also so in the types uh, let me create one type begin of ty underscore cost to make it sorter first field will be cost name customer name uh, that will be coming from the kna1 table because kunnar is not having name to so kna1 name one is the customer and second field will be the net amount which, which will be the total net amount i want to get net here that will be coming from the vbak table type vbak net amount and end of this particular plus this these two detail i need to get this two detail i need some method so uh, so for that i have to create one table first table type also so what i will do i will create one method and the important thing is that first i let me create one simple method instead of the database processor i will create simple method method get cost detail and i have to pass some field exporting what i want to pass uh, exporting i want to pass how many number of customer you want i want top 10 customer from upper side and top 10 customer from the bottom side to see which are the best customer and which are the worst customer for me so i have to pass some number so it can be exporting then et underscore num number this would be type of i and what i want to get importing importing uh, i want to get the it underscore cluster detail cluster that should be type of i have to create one table tt underscore cost so it should be like this one i have to create types tt underscore cost the table type table of ty underscore cost so like that i want there is some issue is there obviously we need i think control x we have to declare importing first then exporting control v dot dot okay this is the sequence actually shift f1 it will say the there is no implementation is there so simply you have to click control one Add implementation it will aid the implementation for this one and let me activate this one control f3 this is how we create the normal method in a map now this is the normal method i can write the code in the ABAP and it will be returned and i can get the older data from the vbak and sort it by order by and top 10 uh, i can sum up and i can get the data but i don't want to get using normal open sql i want to do this one directly natively in the native language in the using the amdp processor so what so first important thing whenever we are creating the method in the amdp class it's not necessary that all the methods will be the amdp functions or amdp processors there can be normal method can coexist along with the amdp functions and amdp math amdp 
प्रोसीजर्स तो लेट मी क्रिएट लेट मी कन्वर्ट दिस मेथड टू द एम डी पी प्रोसीजर सो वॉट ऑल आर द थिंग्स वी हैव टू मेक श्योर वेन वी आर कन्वर्टिंग दिस पर्टिकुलर दिस पर्टिकुलर मैथड टू द एम डी पी प्रोसीजर द फर्स्ट थिंग वेन एवर यू आर एक्सपोर्टिंग सम वैल्यू इट शुड बी नॉट पास बाई रेफरेंस करंटली द इट इज आई होप सो यू नो वॉट इज द पास बाई रेफरेंस एंड पास बाई वैल्यू सो here we are as of now we are passing by reference just we are passing the memory address but we can't do with the uh, with the amdp processors this pass by reference because this amdp processor will run on the hana database and our hana database the problem is that that these memory location will be not available at the database level because this memory locations are available at the application server or application server level and our processors will run directly at the database level that is the reason we have to pass by value first change we have to do we have to instead of using no, using pass by reference by default it is passed by reference and when we give like the value it will pass by value instead of pass by reference this is the first change and exporting etnum what i did i want the top 10 customer i want uh, not it cus two table i want i want top customer and second in the second table second table i want the uh value top customer i can say which is not buying for me at all i want to check those customer also type tt underscore cust those details and those details also i want and uh, these are the normal thing this is the method one most important thing one other things what we have to make sure since this amdp the, i want to convert this method to the amdp processor and amdp framework never do the client handling because it will directly run on the database it will not go to the database interface which is avail available on on the application server it is directly connected like how we run the native uh, native statements directly connected to from the database to the it, there will be no interconnectivity between so it can convert open sql to native sql because we are writing directly in the native sql itself so it will be run directly on the database so there will be no implicit client handling will happen so that is the reason if you don't pass here the client So when we get the data from the database, we will be not able to pass the client when we are writing the select statement, and we will be we will get the data from all the clients. So that is the reason I want to pass the client field as well here because I want to get the data for the current client only. So for that I have to pass one more one more value over here, which is client again C L I E N T and it should be type of mandate so these are the two things we have to make sure when we are doing the procedure declaration but here we can't differentiate between the it is the normal method implementation or it is the uh, it is a mdp processor implementation in a normal method also you can pass by value so here we can't differentiate between it is normal method or it is a mdp processor or mdp function so for differentiating that we ha we have to see the implementation part of this particular method in this implementation as you can see to to make this particular normal method to the mdp processor we have to write by database and if you want to convert in processor so you have to write processor and if you want to convert in function you have to write the function by database processor and second thing i want to say for which database you want to create this processor so for i want to create hdb means hana database in future if some other database also supports the amdp we can give that database name over name also over here suppose oracle it is some odb or something else some some other or uh, db6 is supp supported and we can give the db6 name here so some other database will support the amdp that time we have we will give the database name is that 
as per that particular database currently we are running this particular method on hana database that is the reason we have given hdb second thing we have we have to give the language what is the language of your database i know for hana database it's 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 a sql script language so i have given the sql script for other database there is some different native languages there we have to give that language name one more thing you might have noticed what is this error i am getting cannot be used as a name for the parameter okay let me use something uh, uh, because it is reserved value mandate i can use yeah so this is the error client is a reserved key field so this is the reason we can't use as a uh, para, uh, as a name so i have changed the name to the mandate so one more thing you might have noticed if i click enter 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 this color code change over here so as soon as we have write this database processor why i have changed this color where how to change this color that also i will show you mean a while it will tell me that you are whatever you have to going to write in this particular blog this will be this will be the sql script language this will be not normal language how to change this color you have to go to the windows you have to go, go to appearance so i or recently changed that is the reason already there you have to go to the general then appearance then color and fonts are there inside this you have to inside the uh, at the below abap you can see the abap above and inside the abap we have something called syntax color coloring inside that there is something called embedded language background color or directly you can search embedded language also that time also it will be displayed over here you have to select this one then edit this one and you have to select as per your requirement what color you want so i have choose this color that is the reason whenever uh, i will write the database processors and database function it will come automatically in this color let me cancel it out so that is again important set setting in the eclipse so we can easily differentiate when we write the code this is normal method or it is amdp processor or amdp function so this is the part of the implementation so i am getting the error like that the body of an amdp method cannot be empty obviously it can't be empty so i have to get the i have to fill this stop cast table with some data so i will write the select statement select what i want to get i want to get first the customer name from the kna1 table so top 10 entries i want to get so that is the reason i will tell top uh, the 10 i will pass from the exporting parameter uh, et underscore num 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 and uh, what i want to get the customer name so i will gonna give the customer kna1 as a cust as a alias name cust dot name one is cust underscore name comma second field will be the our the summation of the uh, summation of the net price so sum sum of the uh, so underscore head table h e a d that again alias name i will gonna give so dot head net price and uh, this will be i want to display is net wear okay and this will be comma separated et num everything looks good or you can give any meaningful name so these two field i want to get from where from first from vbak is so underscore had h e a d i want to get is a and i want to do the inner join with the kna1 is uh, what i have given the name uh, cust c u s t and if i am doing the inner join obviously i have to pass some condition on and what will be the condition our so head control c whatever the kunnar i am getting from the vbak table this should be equal to the uh, customer vbak table kunnar i think and once i get this data uh, since i am using the summation i have to use group by obviously so the group by 
and I have used two field only. So uh, apart from the summation, what are what else? Group by customer name. So what other fields we have to mention in the group by is I already explained in the group by video, and you can close it. But I want top ten customer. So that is the reason I want to get the top ten. But which top ten after the order by? Let me do order by. Uh, order by this amount and you have to pass additional ascending or a i think this is the ascending order by is sc i think ascending order that is the reason i'm getting some error what is the error Okay, this is the, this is telling that VBAK is unknown. One most important thing, whenever we are using the database processor, then we have to mention these. What all are the table you are using from the current schema? So once one more important thing, whenever this particular database processor will activate it, then it will be saved in one schema of the database. The schema will be the assigned to the application server of app. So that particular in that particular schema only it will be saved or whenever we are accessing other object from that particular schema we have to mention those all the object here since I am I am using the uh, VBAK table from that schema so that is the reason I have to tell VBAK and KNA1 these two table I am using so that is the reason I have I have to mention this table name. Otherwise, if you are getting the data from the other schema, no need to mention here those schema name. So these are the things. Let me do shift F1. Let me do. There is. I'm getting an error. It is telling invalid column name. Okay, I have to group by name one. Control C. Control V. Shift F1. Group by name one and I go it as a customer name. Okay, so like that I go, I want to get the top 10 customer. I, 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 I go the all the customer first, then I did the summation, then I sorted those customer by the uh, ascending order. In this case, it should be descending, not ascending. So it should be D S C D E S C, I think so. Descending order. So this is the descending order means uh, top customer will come first and then later uh, other customer will come and I will fill this top customer table like that we can do. So this is the my first statement. Same way I can fill the other table also control C because I have to fill not only the top customer I have to fill the bottom customer uh, flop customer also. So what I will do just you have to do you have to copy this flop customer control C Control V, I didn't give the correct naming convention. That is okay. Just I gave some name. And instead of descending order, I have to do ascending order. In this case, with the list amount, the customer will come first and those customer will be displayed. Shift F1. Shift F1. Shift F1. Let me try to activate this one. I, I, I'm not getting any as of now any syntax error. The most important thing now previously in the MDP, the syntax error was not supported. It was not giving error. But now and uh, but in newer version, the uh, SAP support the syntax error. As soon as you get, get the error, you will give you will get that error. You have to fix that error and then you can proceed. Control F3. It got activated. Now we have created the MDP processors and as soon as we'll use first time this amdp processor in any report or somewhere in any class method or we call this amdp processor it will be created in the database so let me create one report and call this particular amdp processor implementation in my report to create to create a bap program what we have to do we have to go to our context menu project explorer you have to right click on that your package name and you have to create the new ABAP repository object and you have to give the program so you have to select ABAP program 
सो यू यू कैन राइट जी अंडर स्कोर ए एम डी पी अंडर स्कोर कंजम्पन और समथिंग लाइक समथिंग मीनिंगफुल नेम यू कैन गिव एंड यू कैन क्लिक ऑन नेक्स्ट बटन गिव सम डेस्क्रिप्शन गिव सम टी आर एंड फिनिश इट अप इट विल क्रिएट द नॉर्मल रिपोर्ट प्रोग्राम सो इन दिस नॉर्मल रिपोर्ट प्रोग्राम वट वी विल डू वी विल कॉल आवर एम डी पी प्रोसीजर इट्स नॉट द मच डिफरेंट हाउ वी आर कॉलिंग नॉर्मल क्लास एंड मेथड सो आई नो द क्लास नेम सो वट आई हैव टू डू कंट्रोल सी तो सिंपली आई हैव टू कम हियर कंट्रोल वी सिंस इट इज स्टेटिक मेथड इफ इट इज इंस्टेंस मेथड ऑल्सो आई कैन क्रिएट एज ए एम डी पी प्रोसीजर आई हैव टू क्रिएट इंस्टेंस बट इन दिस केस इट्स ए स्टेटिक मैथड सो वट हैव टू डू control space it's not static it's instance method so i have to create the instance of the class so i can do data or i can cre create new data lr underscore uh cast equal to control v and i can create the new class it will create new instance lr underscore cast and from that i can call i can directly call here as well but i don't want to do that one uh, i can call the instance method of that what is the instance method get customer detail you have to do shift enter i think i did some mistake you can see the i am put i am calling the exporting it should be importing parameter so let me interchange again uh so what i will do control x and control v this should be control x but this should be here dot and this should be control v and remove this one and set tap one and then activate this one control f3 let me call this lr underscore cast get customer detail again so i can do control space and i can call this control space shift enter so you can see it got called so here i will pass the some number i want to get 10 time i want to pass the client sai mandate and i will do the inline declaration for this two so data underscore it underscore top and this will be data it underscore flop after doing this this let me display out this table cl underscore demo underscore output control space shift enter i can write it down first write it down first thing it underscore top and let me do a control alt arrow down button and this time display instead of right thing display display and i will display the it underscore flow control c control c control v step step one let me activate this one control f3 before executing this program we will put the breakpoint one breakpoint in our web program and another breakpoint we will put in the our amdp processor implementation so let me put, take it both the things together and let me do f9 so i want to display the output in the console as soon as i do the f9 the debugger perspective got open in the debugger perspective you can see there is two things one is the amdp debugger and another is the abap debugger now currently we are we are in the abap debugger if i do f5 still we are in the abap debugger and we didn't go inside this uh, implementation of this particular mdp processor let me decrease little bit this one and let me do f5 
now it will go from the above debugger to the amdp processor it's taking time so you can see it came to the uh, this particular cursor came to the particular amdp processor implementation this one now i want to see what is the value of this customer top cost currently it is blank you can see here there is a zero entry and here we can see also there is no entry let me do f6 here f5 will not work you have to do f6 and you will get the data you can you got the 10 entries and what all are the 10 entries you got you can see these entries here this code is running in sql script directly database level let me do one more thing one more time f6 so i can see the flop customer as well so if you can see the flop customer as well so we go to the 10 entries again let me double click on that so you can see we go the 10 entries flop customer and you can see the all are the zeros and apart from last three where we have some values 10 48 and 200 and let me do finally f8 now let me do f8 and now the console got open switch to the ABAP perspective and we can see the result we got the top 10 customer which is having the more amount values and we got the top flop 10 customer which is which is not buying at all or buying with the very less amount or number of sales order might be less or more that we are not sure but we are sure that we can display the number of sales order as well but just just to displaying purpose as of now we have displayed just amount how much amount they bought and based on that we can make some decision at last i want to explain some of the theory points so let me put this console here back i think it is not required let me close it out and i want to pull some theory point which i have saved already in the template uh, so let me do con control space amdp theory is there lot of points are there some of the points relevant for today and some of the points are relevant for the next session uh, we will discuss in next session so these are the points relevant for the today's session the first point just some of the point will be the revision whatever we have discussed and some of the points will be the uh, newer points which we are going to do first thing an amdp method as soon as we will activate this amdp method or uh, when we use first time this amdp method it will create this database processor in the database one more thing i don't have as of now the database access so i i was not able to show you how the database in the database how the this particular database processors go created but if you go to the app the schema of the your current database how to see that schema i will show you in next session but the name will be your uh, the name will be your data base processor will be like this the control c and control v in the capital so you have to do control shift u to convert in complete capital control shift u control shift x sorry see this will be the your database processor name okay and as soon as we use first time it will create this database processor in your ABAP database schema which is schema i will show you in next session it can be static instant method as i told you we created as an instance method you can create as a static method also but when you are calling you have to call like the static method second point third point it can be declared any visibility section as of now i have declared in the public section you can declare in the protected section or private section but once you declare in the protected section it can be called in the uh, subclasses only and you if you declare in the private section you can't call outside this class you have to call, you, you have to use this method inside this class only these are the basic abap o concepts so it can call any visibility section there is no restriction over there it can be declared declaration but we can't say amdp or not as i told you via seeing this method declaration we can't say that this is the amdp method or it's a normal method we have to see the implementation part then only we can see by seeing this by database processor which database and language by seeing this only we can say this is the amdp processor implementation this is not a normal method return value cannot be declared if i try to use some returning value here I, I will not able to do it will give me a syntax error if i try to use returning value i will get some error let me give some some value returning it tape 
type tt underscore cost only. So I will get some error like this. A returning parameter must be fully typed. Okay, let me put fully typed with empty key. So now it is fully typed with the default key, sorry. So you can see now what error we are getting. Changing a MDP method, changing exporting parameter cannot be used combination with the returning parameter. So it is saying that you can't use because it is a processor. If you want to create a function there, you can create the uh, you can create the returning parameter. That is the reason I was telling it is not possible to create the MDP processor with the returning parameter. That is the statement. I didn't say anything. This is the all standard documentation saying that the database objects in the current database schema accessed in the MDP method must be declared using the. So as I told you, we have to de declare whatever the database object which we are calling inside this particular Im processor implementation, we which is if we are calling the those tables or those functions or those processors from the current schema, we have to write those all the database object after the using. If you are calling from the other database, you have to give the obviously the schema name that that time it is not required to use those names here. Okay. And uh, the MDP framework does not support the automatic client handling. That is the reason we have passed the client and then we have we did the client handling. That is also these are the basic points regarding the MDP declaration some of the point regarding the mdp implementation also there mdp method and mdp implementation method without a return value same point mdp procedure implementation with the addition by database procedure we have to write that is also an mdp method should not be empty obviously if it is empty we are getting the error so these are the basic things these three last three things bit uh, little bit complex or i can say little bit uh, different Writes cannot be performed on the database table where the table buffering is switched on. Switched on. What it is, it, it is saying that if some of the table which we are accessing here in the uh, currently I didn't modified anything in the in these tables. I just go to the data from this table. I can modify those table data as well. But you should not modify those table which is buffered on the application server. Why you should not modify because that data is already buffered on application server. If you try to modify the synchronous uh, means synchronization between the application server and database server will not happen and you there will be a lot of data inconsistency between the application server and database server. So that is the reason it is saying you should not you should not write cannot be performed on database table where the buffering is switched on and since the SQL script access are ignored by Buff by buffer synchronization. Buffer synchronization work is that it will synchronize the data between the application server and database server. But in this case, the he, he, it will not know that something got changed because we changed using the SQL script language directly at the database level. So that is the reason we should not do anything, mod any modification on the data where the those table which, which is buffered on the application server. And AMD method should not have the implicit enhancement options. We will talk about the enhancement also. We can do the, uh, we can create, there, there is something called the AMDP bodies also there, but there is no implicit en enhancement option. If you open SAP UI and click on the squirrel button and so implicit enhancement options, you will not get anything here. It, it will not have any implicit enhancement options. And DDL statement are not allowed. We can't create the new since it is the SQL uh, script language. So in the SQL script language, we can create the table. We can create the database processors using the, some statements. So those is not allowed in this. We can read the table. We can change the data in the table. But this uh, these things we can't do. Uh, means uh, what? What it is saying? You can't create the DDL create change and deleting of the database object is not allowed in this SQL script. Last thing, no database commit and database rollback statement all, all, are allowed because database commit and rollback, we have to handle those all the things at the application layer, not at the SQL script layer. That those are the most important things. You don't know what is the database commit and the rollback, and, uh, what is the SAP logs and database logs. I already created those in detail, those videos in my 
प्रीवियस सेशन दैट दैट ऑल यू कैन वॉच सो दीज आर द बेसिक पॉइंट्स विच वी हैव डिस्कस टूडे देर आर सम अदर पॉइंट्स ऑल्सो विच आई डेंट डिस्कस वी विल डिस्कस इन आवर नेक्स्ट सेशन इन दिस वीडियो वी हैव लर्न अबाउट द बेसिक्स ऑफ द एम डी पी प्रोसीजर इंप्लीमेंटेशन एंड लॉट ऑफ बेसिक थिंग्स एंड थ्योरी पार्ट इज वर्क इन माई नेक्स्ट वीडियो वी विल टेक अप फ्रॉम हियर वी विल एड लॉट ऑफ एडिशनल थिंग्स एंड वी विल ट्राई टू अंडरस्टैंड एडिशनल थिंग्स लाइक हाउ द इंटरफेस ऑफ द ए एम डी पी प्रोसीजर एंड कन्वर्टेड इन टू द नेटिव डेटा बेस प्रोसीजर वॉट इज द मैपिंग हाउ द मैपिंग इज हैपनिंग एट द डेटा बेस लेवल not only that thing we will discuss lot of other things as well before going to that video please like this video share this videos with others as well so that they can also learn with that thank you and happy learning